Well, hello, everyone. It's good to see every single one of you here on this community night Sunday evening. God, I kind of don't like saying that for two reasons. <sighs> it means tomorrow is Monday. Some of you are going back to school. Some of you are going back to work. And some of you are just taking it easy. I'm jealous of those of you that are taking it easy. Souls, thank you for the bits. I hope you're having a good evening. Hat Gaming, how are you doing? Jetter Cheese, I see you're having an extraordinary time in a hollow night. Positive Left, how goes it, my dear? Amber Rose, oh. <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I got to Amber Rose's name and I choked. Amber Rose, always, always a pleasure. Skillet fan, I hope you're ready and I hope you're full of knowledge when it comes to restaurants. Spirit Retro, I have a feeling you may know a lot of these answers, but I'm not sure, Spirit. All I know is it's good to see you. So yeah, you're back to school tomorrow, Hack Gaming. Can I ask a question, everybody? How many of you are, how many of you are off this week? You're not doing a damn thing. You're taking it easy. You're just chilling. Souls, thank you for adding the 50 bits to the early birds tonight. Skill advances. Hello, positive. I wish. <laughs> Basically, off all this year, Jenner Cheese, so you're able to take it easy and just game? That must be nice. Oh my god, it must be nice. Crash Town says, positive left? That's a sick emote. It really is, right? It really is. Not me, I'm still busy. Yeah. Raven, check what I just posted uh, in the creator before you start. I don't, I can't even see it. I don't have anything pulled up. I can't see anything. Otherwise, I totally would do it. I'm working on my mental illness. Oh, okay. Hope you get it under control, Jetter. Gun gear? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was hoping somebody would say that. What's your favorite restaurant? My kitchen. Gun gear, how are you doing this evening? So you're saying your pants aren't pulled up. Oh, my pants are off, folks. My pants are off. As soon as you come to the Zero Gravity Theater, you should have your pants off. My mental Ill issues, not my mental illness. Oh, your mental issues. Okay. Mental illness and mental issues are different. Please, I stress that. They're very different. So, no pants on. Yes, indeed. I'm always good when I get that chocolate goodness. Gun gear, it is so good to see you. So, as you know, tonight's trivia is going to be based on restaurants. This could be fast food, or it could be sit down. It's broad. However, I'm pretty sure the majority of the answers you guys will know if you pay attention. Oh, well, then I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> it is a mental illness. I have depression. Well, then you said my mental issues, not my mental illness. Which one is it? There's mental illness and there's mental issues. Like, I have mental, mental issues. I definitely have mental issues. I have problems trusting people and all sorts of stuff. But I don't have mental illness. You have both. Wow. Kojo, thank you for the host, dude. My favorite restaurant is Up the Hill Grill. It is by far my favorite burger joint in the whole world. I don't, we, ha we don't have that. Yeah, I'm so fucking confused. I have Mentos. Is that the same thing? Mentos issues or Mentos illness? Gunk here. <laughs> Lulu, it is good to see you. Are you ready for some restaurant trivia? What's your favorite restaurant? Who oh, well, see, I'm not familiar. What do they serve? Up the Hill Grill obviously serves burgers. Spirit, what do they serve? Kojo, it is so good to see you guys. Make sure you check out my friend Kojo62. Earlier, he was streaming uh, Train Simulator. Last night, he was streaming, streaming Train Simulator, or actually, it was during the day. Fantastic, laid back, and it's taking it easy. Seeing the psychologist and talking about stuff. At the same time, I'm trying to break... Oh! Jenner, that's actually pretty good. I like I like what you're doing there. It's in California. Hat Gaming says, I don't know. <laughs> it's a super lush Indian restaurant that's known my family and our family's best families, families, friends, families, friends from the last generations. Nice. Stuffy place. Get in here. 
sit in your saved seat and get ready for some restaurant trivia. I really do appreciate you guys being here. Sincerely. Sincerely do. How many of you guys eat out once a week? Show of hands. If you eat out once a week, raise those hands for me. I'm very, very curious. Ready to update my awesome night? So... That's something that's being worked on right now, Spirit. I can't say anything more than that. Other than that, I'm a simple woman. Give me Wingstop and I'm happy. Ooh, I like you. Does Oral count? Yes, Spirit. Wow, the Paul's after eat out. Yes, Stuffy plays. (laughs) Kojo does. My favorite restaurant is a local restaurant called Sean Koo. Cow. Surprisingly cheap and freaking amazing. Oh, it's a sushi restaurant. Nice. Jared eats out once a week. I eat out once every two months. That's actually pretty good, Souls. Positive left eats out never, almost never. You fix your own stuff? That's impressive, P- That's impressive, PL. I haven't eaten out since the last time NOD and I ate out, and you ate out NOD. Hey! Uh, I make food more than once a week. Okay, I've started cooking my own curries too. That's good, that's actually saves you a lot of money. I eat in once every 18 days. You eat in once every 18 days. <laughs> we get delivered like twice a, twice as a treat. Okay. Favorite restaurant is a Hispanic restaurant, La Fiesta. We have those here. We have those here, souls. Gamer, 1991-3105. How are you doing, dude? I can make a corn cur- curry that, to me, tastes better than most of the Indian places near me. The... Um, I'll be honest with you. The best way to experience something is to maybe go to a restaurant. If you find out, oh my God, this entree is phenomenal. Never have it at that restaurant again. Go home, reproduce it yourself, and I guarantee you, you're going to love it. Oh my God! Skillet fan with freaking five months. (laughs) Skillet! Thank you for the continued support, dude. I appreciate every time you continue to be an awesome knot. Everyone, thank you for giving Skillet the film hearts and the sassy. Also, uh, Tate is in the works. Tate will be in the works, guys. It was really dope Spanish Mexican restaurant that I loved in Florida. Don't I haven't heard that one, Lulu. Lumajo has arrived, but Lumajo, are you ready for some restaurant trivia? Wow! We got Stuffy Plays resubscribing freaking 12 months and then using Twitch Prime. Stuffy Plays, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you being such a support and 12 months, dude, and then using Twitch Prime, you could use that anywhere. Thank you for continuing to use it here, dude. Arctic Mule. Holy crap! Arctic Mule, did okay, did y'all see that? Please tell me you just saw what Stuffy Plays just did. Jesus! Arctic Mule, thank you. I appreciate it. I have worked on it for f- almost 40 years. Actually, I kind of hate my voice, but... Guys, c- can I... Stuffy Plays just gifted, what is that, 10? 10 subscriptions to all of you fantastic people. Holy crap, dude! Nudes of dudes, how are you doing this evening? Let the Hunger Games begin. Starts murdering over non-subs. Uh, next sub, next sub shall be mine. <laughs> so, Squad One Fam, Skull Envy, Sir Twixter, uh, Chantillion, Svenir 80, Crashers, Macadula Dognegadula One. Sorry. Uh, Cryptic Lord, and Feel Good Games Official, and Warachinid. Warachinid. I don't know how to pronounce these, but you guys are so awesome for being here. Donna577, don't act like I don't know who you are. I know who you are. You're from the land of Kojo, and I've seen you. Thank you for stopping into the ZGT, Donna. Good to see you. So, Arctic Mule, tonight is community night. You just happen to be here on trivia. We're about to start some trivia questions. You earn 10 points, tickets, a question. And then tomorrow we go back to Cinematic Raven. We'll be playing some Heavy Rain, if you've played that game. Such a good game. 
If we beat that, we're going to Beyond Two Souls. And then Stuffy Players did not want to leave out Positive Left and has gifted a subscription. The sub, the sub hype is crazy tonight. Donna, anonymously, you were just gifted a sub from somebody in the chat that was anonymous. Oh, who was it? Just kidding. You don't have to say. Um, hi, Raven. Pinky, it's good to see you. It's really good to see you. Donna, I don't, I think it was, I think it was Stuffy. I don't know who it was. Whoever you were, Anonymous, thank you for your subscription to Donna. So, okay, Arctic Mule, let's, let's just test this. Let's just test your trivia knowledge. Everyone in the ZGT, can I get you to spam a heart if you're ready for the first trivia question? Seriously, it's so good to have all of you in the ZGT. Oh my God! Stuffy Plays has get this subscription to Arctic Mule, and then Souls gives me five bits. Good Lord, you guys are fantastic tonight. Doing homework tonight? I will linger for a bit, no worries. All those hearts are for you, Stuffy, and they're for... Stuffy, remind me to send you a DM later of my dick and my heart. I love you, dude. I'm just kidding. One of those I won't send. TNS, how are you doing, dude? Good to see you, bruh. Good to see you. Okay, here's how it's gonna go. Uh, we will be not going as long as we normally do tonight. It's probably going to be about two hours. <laughs> right, Crash? Right, we see the DMs now? Wow, Amaros, if you want a picture, I can send it to you too. Okay, there's three rounds tonight. First one is going to be round one, and it's going to be basic questions of uh, restaurants. I know you guys are ready, so let's get these things, let's get this warmed up. Well, how, here's how it's going to go. Don't pay attention to me. Pay attention to the chat because the question will show there first simply because if I put it there first, it shows up immediately for everyone. So I will let you know when the question is coming. You pay attention to chat. You immediately answer in chat. Not really my PC uh, being a bum. Oh no, Jetter. That sucks. That sucks. Hataru Black. Stuffy got their tax return. <laughs> Katara, when did you sneak in here? Please tell me that was your first message. You know nothing about restaurants? Arctic Mule, don't say that. I guarantee you will know something about fast food restaurants or just regular restaurants in general. The questions are made to be fairly easy and then hard. Here's the first question. Look at chat. How many herbs and spices make up the secret blend used on Colonel Sanders' most C skillet fan? And Callahan comes in with 13. It is indeed 11 herbs and spices. Skillet fan, we will give you those uh, tickets. I gotta start a new word pad, in fact, because <clears throat> skillet fan. Um, Souls, how are you feeling tonight? Do you do you think you'll be in? Are you in the mood to give tickets as I'd people? I'd say that was a pretty successful broadcast. Gabby Gamer 47, thank you for being in here. You have a seat saved for you. You can also have popcorn if you'd like. Um, what I can do is I can either grant you the tickets after the stream's over or we can do it live. That's if Souls feels like doing it. 11, I used 113 in my chicken recipe. <laughs> John Elway, Donna? John Elway was used in the KFC recipe? <laughs> oh, um, we are doing so it's 10 tickets whatever they win is 10 tickets across the board so Skillet Fan will get 10 tickets do it live he never gives them after ooh, that's cold are you saying I don't do my job? okay folks, that's basically how these trivias are going to go tonight are you guys ready for the second question of the evening? 
I know I am. I'd say that was a pretty successful broadcast. That's it. That's it, Souls. That's exactly how you do it. Also, Arctic Mule, you are amazing for being here. Savannah Roar, how are you doing? You got to hear just in enough time to get the next question. Are you ready? I'm about to put it in chat. Sorry if I'm missing some of you, but let's do this. Question number two. What fast food restaurant introduced a popular advertising campaign in 1997 that featured a talking chihuahua? This name stinks. You got it. Uh, Souls, can you give this name stinks 10 tickets? Also, Lamajo. Lamajo and this name stinks both got it like that. It's good to see everybody. See? You guys know what you're doing, man. And eh, I'm okay, you know, fighting with neighbors and shit. Savannah, send them a picture of me. I'm gonna make the ser- I'm gonna make the most serious face, and I want you to send them a picture of me and let them know that I'm irritated and I will be coming for their asses. You ready? Hopefully you got that. Refreshing. Be gone, lag. Well, I'm a slow typer, so I'm not gonna get anywhere. I'm off to lurk mode. <laughs> Restaurant using that term loosely. Well fast food restaurant as it is now but later it'll be actual restaurants just bear with me I don't even have Taco Bell in my country Arctic Mule where are you from where are you from dude Souls thank you dude thank you also Souls you need to let me know dude slow down Raven I can't keep up so if I'm going too fast let me know Probably Mexico. Yeah, Mexico is the only smart country not to feature Taco Bell in their homeland. Won the restaurant wars and demolition, man. Oh. Oh. 1.2 seconds now. Much better. It's okay, Raven. I like it when you're rough. Ooh! Coming from the mouth of souls. You guys ready for the next question? Um, Type R if you're ready. It's easier to do than a heart, and it lets me know faster how fast you guys are ready we have taco bell where i live i don't i don't like taco bell guys i just don't like it the taro black's ready lulu's ready callahan looking good and ready tns kojo <laughs> hack gaming lamajo skillet donna says demolition man i'm still trying to figure out the three shells thing <laughs> souls thank you for the bits let's do this what fast food restaurant is credited with an introducing the first modern day drive through This one's a thinker. McDonald's, McDonald's, Burger King, McDonald's, McDonald's. No, you guys got 10 more seconds. A&W, keep it coming, keep it coming. No, it is not McDonald's or Burger King or a, it is indeed Wendy's. This name stinks gets that with Wendy's being the restaurant that introduced the first modern day drive through. Oh my God, Hardee's. I love Hardee's. Hardee's probably has the best burger. Stuffy plays. Are you, are you in the up, up? Are you in Northwest? You have to have Hardee's at the Northwest, right? Wendy's is garbage. So of course I wouldn't have gotten that one. Yeah, Wendy's is hit or miss, right, Lulu? I know OG's McDonald's had drive through drive ups originally. Yeah, this name stinks knows too much. Thought it was Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box didn't come around till North Carolina. Oh, dude, you have some good food around you, stuffy place. You mind if I come visit? Hardy's also has the best chicken. Just preach it, Hataru. Preach it. When he goes for the burger, get all the chili. They do have some amazing chili. Actually, they do have some really good chili, don't they? Callahan, holy hell. Oh, I love, I freaking love Hardee's, man. I don't know what it is. It's just a fast food place, but they have great chicken. Oh my God, guys, are we already on question number four? We're going a little bit too fast. Let's burn some time. Let's burn some time. I'm gonna ask you a question that's not even trivia related. Person that makes me laugh will get 50 tickets, okay? We've all been to a fast food joint and had a shitty experience. Did anybody do anything funny when you got bad service? Question is, what did you do when you got bad service um, and bad food? Person that makes me laugh, 
will get 50 tickets. Some of our local Wendy's do endless chili on Tuesdays, I think. Holy crap. I love Hardee's, Arby's, and they took it away. Arby's, well, okay, Arby's is back now. They're good now. The only time I've ever gotten food poisoning was after having Wendy's. Ew. We literally have Subway, KFC, Burger King, and McDonald's in the UK, and that's it. Yeah, because you guys have real food, Arctic Mule. <laughs> you guys have really good food, I imagine. Bojangles, I've heard of it, but haven't really done it. Q intense typing. Burn that motherfucking place to the ground. <laughs> okay, crashes, crashes one. I got nothing. I have social anxiety, so absolutely nothing. I'm not sure my answer would be stream appropriate. I told Burger King no mayo. They put a bunch of mayo on my burger, asked her for a knife, and left a pile of mayo on their counter. Oh my god, that's thug. I pulled out a handful of straws and blew them up at the service dude. And blew them at the service dude. <laughs> yeah, I went to the fast food restaurant, had to wait 10 minutes for a coffee, left no tip. God dang coffee wasn't worth waiting for. And it was free. <laughs> So just left without saying thanks like a thug. Um, we're going to have to give this one to Crash Down, who, uh, who said he burned it down to the ground. <laughs> Sassy, everybody is saying hello to you. Why does your breath smell so bad? Let's, let's say a quick hello to Sassy. If you have the Sassy emote, go ahead and spam it. There you go, Skillet. There you go, Kojo. Yep, Sassy's here, gamer. Positive left, Arctic Mule, Lulu. I got a free meal the next time I come in. Oh, that's that's the way to do it. Stop feeding Sassy chitlins. <laughs> You're not getting any more chitlins. Anybody know what chitlins are? Speaking of which, they're pig intestines. Even more descriptive, they're the they're the muscle that actually pushes the crap outside of the body. Big thing we don't have Taco Bell, Hardee's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box in Denmark. Don't be, don't be mad. Wow, way to dog shame, Sassy. Sassy, your breath smells like good doggy breath. Your breath smells like good doggy breath. Yeah, lick me, lick me, lick me. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. She's uh, biting my nose now. <laughs> Dude, guys, she's getting stronger. Donna. Donna, let me tell you something. She used to just jump on my lap, lick my face, and then jump off. Now she's demanding to lick my face. Pork rinds are amazing, but they're not chitlins, though. Hataru, please tell me they aren't. Please tell me pork rinds are not chitlins. We have Burger King, McDonald's, KFC, but very freaking rare. Never been in one Denver. Let me look at my phone really quick. Forgot to uh, mute it before I started streaming. I apologize. Pork rinds are just fried skin. Thank God. All right. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and put this down to a lower volume. Put it aside. Uh, deep fried pig skin. Not as much as Americans, but we do. I know personally you'd like to be licked, but calm down there. <clears throat> this is true. This is very true. Okay. Get the real Mexican stuff with skin and meat even better. Oh, are you offering to cook that for me? If you buy an untrimmed ham, you can make them yourself. Pork crackling. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Pork crackling. Like I said, I'd rather have pork rides. <laughs> okay. Question number four is about to pop up in chat at this very moment. Again, thank you all for being here. It's been a while since we've done trivia. Kojo makes me feel good about this because he, he says he likes it a lot. So I hope you guys like trivia a lot. Um, tomorrow we will be turning back. We're returning back to Heavy Rain and I promise it will be the conclusion. So no spoilers for anybody, but we will find out who the origami killer is. Here comes question number four. Boom. Which of the following fast food restaurants was founded first? Burger King, In-N-Out, uh, Whataburger, or McDonald's? Jetter Cheese will give the correct answer with In-N-Out Burger. Can you guys believe that? I thought it was McDonald's. 
in and out Burger has been around way before McDonald's. Isn't that crazy? Let's go ahead and give Jetter Cheese the 10 points for getting the correct answer. You knew it actually because I uh, you watched the burger show. Ah, and thank you, souls. Chicharrones equals crack. What the hell are chicharrones? White Castle has the first uh, fast food burger. I never had in and out. I have. It's it's okay. Uh, I have an answer for you, souls. In and out has like a real old school location in California. And you know what? I bet you that's the best one to go to. The original location is always the best one to go to. Pork crimes on crack, but what's the crack? What do they do to it? Make it salty or something? The mystery of the origami killer will unfold before us, yes. Tree Niner Foxy, get in here with your freaking breast and fives and feed them to me. Yes, I meant it exactly how I said it. I'm gonna confess my love for you right now, Tree Niner Foxy. How the hell are you doing? Good to see you. And not better than McDonald's? Really? There's a McDonald's just outside of Disney. Imagine pork rinds, but the delicious meat still attached. Oh. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Folks, okay, do you know why there are McDonald's? Wait, do you know why there are McDonald's? Do you know why there aren't McDonald's in Disney? Is that what you're asking? I think Souls is drunk. There's a place outside of DC that makes chicharron tacos. Fresh, oh my God, fresh pork rinds? Shut up, guys. That's making me hungry, man. Not just the meat, but that crispy fat in between, too. Guys, we are so freaking ridiculous. Train on the Foxy, get ready for the next question. It's about to pop up in chat in three, two. Actually, don't pay attention to me counting down because it'll be there before I finish counting down. So there you go. What fast food restaurant aired ads featuring Jared Fogle, a man who lost, yes, and he also wound up being a fucking pedophile, that piece of shit. Okay, Skillet Fan will get the 10 tickets. Good job, Skillet Fan. Hataro Black, I saw you just a little bit after that. Why do you people know this? <laughs> Why do you people know this? Oh, okay, so here's a tip, Trin on Foxy. The questions will usually be color-coded. I try to make it color-coded. So it just stands out. But yeah, Jared likes his women like his subs. <laughs> Raven, are we are we dining fancy tonight? You guys like these? They're uh, various restaurants across the U.S. and world. I haven't visited any of them, but they look good. He, he made a career of getting into smaller pants. <laughs> so, <clears throat> sorry guys, um, had to blow my nose. Blow my nose really quick. Okay, we are already on question number six of the evening. Oh, this one's gonna be an interesting one because I think this one's seriously going to be region locked. If you're all ready, can I get you to type TNF? If we're ready for the next question, type TNF. There's a storm nearby my house. My connection is dying. I'm afraid that it will be all for me tonight. Jared, have a good one, dude. Best buffet restaurant, Barn Hills Buffet, Southern food and all you can eat. Oh my God. I would love that stuff he plays and I would probably gain 15 pounds and not care. Here we go. Next question. What fast food restaurant was originally founded in the small town of Guasave on Mexico's Pacific coast? Chipotle, Taco Bell. All this food talk has made me hungry. There it is, Stuffy Plays. Well done, dude. It is indeed El Pollo Loco, which means the crazy chicken. Uh, Stuffy Plays, we'll take that away. You guys thought it was Taco Bell or something like that? Don't blame you. You saw it Mexican and you wanted to go with something Mexican like. You needed to go a little bit more Mexicaner. Where the gameplay at? Immortal Turtle tonight is going to be a short, shorter stream. 
So it's fully dedicated to talking to you, looking at restaurant scenario, and giving you questions. Because I don't have time to actually fire up a game and play it and do this at the same time. Yeah, see, a lot of people haven't heard of that place, Arctic Mule. We have them here. They're actually not bad. How do I explain El Pollo Loco? Explain that! Explain that! Wow, Hataru has subscribed for 11 months in a row. I'm a fatty. This trivia is perfect. <laughs> Hataru, I've got a cough. You can't make me laugh. Thank you for your continued subscription. And there comes the film hearts and the sassy. Gamer1991305, Tree on a Foxy, looking good. Taco Bell was founded in Southern California by a Jewish guy. I think he was Jewish. So El Polo Yoko, I have only seen in a good mythical morning on like that thing. <laughs> Grilled chicken, tortillas, rice and beans, and friggin' delicious. So how do I explain El Pollo, Pollo Loco? Have you guys all been to a Chipotle? I'll ask that question. Have y'all been to a Chipotle? <clears throat> yep. I have, sadly. Nope, never been to a Chipotle, okay? Keep them coming. Pinky is farting because she's so full. Nope, okay, Arctic Mule's never been there. Pinky's never been there. We have a Chipotle and a... Uh, the module's drunk. Look at Sassy listening for the answer, right? Uh, free birds over... Thank you. Thank you, Trina Foxy. Why does everybody like Chipotle? Leslie Coli. I know, right? Let's just say... El Polo, Pollo Loco is Chipotle, but good. Stop eating Chipotle, people. Jesus. All right. Question number seven. I will give you a hint. I will give you a hint. You guys have probably either eaten there, have ordered from there, or have heard of it. So with that being said... Here is your question number seven. <clears throat> what fast food restaurant was literally founded in a broom closet? Not McDonald's, not KFC. Miss Rushi is very sleepy. Rushi sneaks into the back seats. Miss Rushi, tonight you're on my lap because I just want to hug your face. Hot dog on a stick, Burger King, Popeyes, KFC gravy tastes like it though. <laughs> Subway seems like it would be the answer. Three more seconds. Two, one, zero, Papa John's. Isn't that crazy? Papa John's. I did not know that at all. Raymond's knee might actually be more comfortable. Well, if that's what you want to say, that is. Urshi, seriously, how is your day? How's life treating you? I want to say I appreciate you all being here. Papa John's is like a thing in America. Yes. Uh, yeah, we had that in the UK too. Figured. F Papa. I know. Is it just me? Okay, can I can I get a show of hands? Or just simply a Y if you agree with me? Papa John's cheese is too thick and they put too much sauce. Every time I bite into pizza or Papa John's pizza, the damn cheese slides right off the freaking bread. It's not how pizza's supposed to be. My day was meh. My sister's visiting and she's so stuck up and pisses me off. Damn it, Miss Rusha, I wish you could hear me right now. I would like so flood you with compliments while she was in the room. She'd get sick and go home. See, you, oh, so you, the sauce is good, Hataru, but do you like it when the cheese falls off though? More cheese. Papa John's is the best quality pizza in the UK, to be honest. Wow. Wow, the crust is a bit floppy for me. That's it. Domino's has gotten better. They have gotten better. They changed a few years ago for the worse. <laughs> seriously, seriously, man. Oh, plus I live in South Philly, so we don't play those games. <laughs> Domino's gives tiny ass portions, and Pizza Hut are unhygienic as fuck. Really? Oh, she's at your parents till Tuesday. I don't like chain pizza anyway. Our local mom and pops are... Oh, see, okay, Kojo brings up a good point. If you have a local uh, pizza joint and you're just skeptic of trying it because it looks shady, listen, guys, 
the shadier the place, the better your food, and believe it or not, it'll probably be healthier than the fast food joints. Go local, folks. If it looks shady, the peach is banging. Boom, Lamajo. Boom. <clears throat> oh. Okay. <clears throat> Next one we've already talked about quite a few times, so a lot of you are probably familiar with this restaurant, so you're probably going to know the answer to this question. I'm skeptical oh, yeah. of most pizza places that aren't in New York or New Jersey. Really? Husky Ninja, how's it going, dude? It is like probably seven times healthier and better. Same rules for cheesesteaks. I ate a pizza, but uh, I ate at Pizza Hut two times last year. The first time was generally gross, and the second time I had like five hairs. <clears throat> Guys, I've had hair in my food once. I don't know why. Most of you probably, when you get hair in your stuff, you probably think, you know, on the head. Nope, not me. I think it's pubic. Yeah, I think the chef or the person that served it went to the bathroom, reached down into their crotch, poked the hair out, and put it on my food. I can't just scrape it off and eat it. Phantom, get in here, dude. Hopefully you're having a good night. A good, good, good night. I miss the old experience of actually eating inside a Pizza Hut. They used to have buffets, TNS. Found hair near McDonald's burger. You eat... <laughs> So this is what Skillet Fan, when he, th this is, let me reenact Skillet Fan, okay? Hold on a second. <clears throat> Why would you even think that? That's just where my mind goes. Skillet Fan walks into McDonald's. <clears throat> uh, hi, yeah. Uh, well, how's it going today, sir? Good, good. Can I get a, uh, yeah, let me just get a double cheeseburger and some french fries. No problem, sir. Uh, this looks good. Mm. I feel you, Skiller fan. Walk out of there, lawsuit, get yourself about a hundred grand. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sassy, you ready for the next question? You want to do it? Sassy says, if you guys spam my face, I'll tell you the next question. Oh, God. Okay, please, please. Don't, don't, don't nibble my, my nose. It hurts. It so hurts when you nibble my nose. Do you want me to nibble your nose? 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 <laughs> She's not amused, guys. She's not amused at all. Dude, Miss Rushi, no worries. Get out of here and get some sleep. Seriously. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I, I love my dog. Dogs. I love my dogs. Phantom, this question is for you. What did McDonald's restaurants first introduce in 1968? Boom, Arctic Mule. The Big Mac. Souls, Arctic Mule gets 10 tickets. It is the Big Mac. Trina our Foxy. <sighs> you would think so. But their fries were there since day one, right? I think. I don't know. The McKnight. Diabetes. Broken McFlurry machines. You know what? Do they still make McFlurries? The Mac fight thing? Concha. Wait, McDonald's serves a shakes the mig the mig dlt yeah they jacked mine up last week what mcflurries are definitely a thing in denmark I, they don't have them here anymore i don't think no the machine's always broken i'd probably use that excuse too if i had to make one mcdonald's is horrible let's face it does anybody actually like mcdonald's in here you can admit it just say yep i'm a fan raven I'm not going to hate you, because you know why? Lady Raven loves McDonald's. She loves them. Shamrock Shake in March. As long as it ain't Shamrock Shakes, that crap tastes like pepto bisball. <laughs> TNS can eat McDonald's. Hat Gaming kind of likes it. Lamaja likes their iced tea. I only like McDonald's when I can get free food from the app. Treat out Foxy. Let me tell you something. 
go to Wendy's, get a chocolate shake, then swing over to uh, McDonald's, get their French fries, and dip the French fries from McDonald's into the Wendy's chocolate shake. You're welcome, my dear. Some stuff I get a craving for. I like I love the movie Super Size Me. Oh, that's a good movie. That's a good reason for divorce. I know a guy if you want to know. <laughs> I like McDonald's, but it ain't my favorite fast food. Wendy's is better. Apple pie and McFlurry are, and fries are good. Shamrock Shake is the best thing McDonald's has. Shamrock Shake used to taste like actual mint. Now they taste like the stuff that they the, they lay tiles with. <laughs> Their burgers suck ass. I miss when the apple pies at McDonald's were good. Back when they deep fried them. Mm. Wendy's burgers better than McDonald's burgers. Don't at me. Are Wimpy's still a U in the U.S.? They're like two in the U.K. Wimpy's was the um, character from Popeyes, right? Sunset Boulevard. Never heard of that. Old school apple pies from McDonald's with ice cream and caramel topping. I don't remember that, guys. It's a Danish fast food chain. You got some Wimpy's in Canada. Hmm. All right, then. I don't think anybody's going to know the next question. Unless you actually used to live there. Hint, hint. <clears throat> Where was the first Pizza Hut built? Where was the first Pizza Hut built? Alaska, Ohio, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Dallas, Raven's Backyard, Texas. Wow, all good guesses. Illinois, Hawaii. Yeah, I got nothing. New York, Hataru Black gets it. Wichita, Kansas. Give Hataru Black 10 ticket souls. It is indeed Wichita, Kansas. Wow. Hell. Kentucky, New Hampshire. Good guesses, though, guys. Good guesses. Pinoy! How is your sexy ass doing? Good to see you in the ZGT, man. You had a good time here with restaurant trivia. Didn't really know that you guys knew as much rest. How many have you guys not guessed? One? I don't think you guys have guessed one answer out of the ten that we are about to ask. Holy crap, I think I just... Okay. Whew. Almost copied the wrong thing and gave you the answers. <clears throat> all right, doing all right, just chilling in my burgers. Boxers! As you can see, what I have on my mind is burgers tonight. <laughs> Give you the answer and you have to guess the question? Interesting. Yeah, I wear burgers on my dick. Chilling on our burgers. I want burgers. Apparently, I do too. What fast food restaurant boasts that you can have it your way? Come on, guys. It's easy. Hotaru Black got the answer like that. Souls, let's give Hotaru Black that one. You guys got it. Wait, wait a second. No, that's not a fail. That's not a fail, Trina a Foxy. Subway adopted that, didn't they? Subway. Um, Souls, give Trina and Foxy 25 tickets because Subway actually did adopt the have it your way philosophy. Wow, they should get sued. Good ear, Trina and Foxy. But yes, the original was Burger King. <clears throat> they were all fast. Shit. For a certain generation, Subway is correct. You're right, Kojo. I didn't know that. Subway, eat fresh. Yep, so uh, Hataru Black gets 10 tickets, and then Trina and Foxy will get 25 tickets. You know what? Give both of them 25 tickets, damn it. Add 15 more to Hataru. Sorry about that, souls. Uh, Texas people be cheating up in her. <laughs> Pretty sure Subway and Burger King are owned by the same people. Are they really? Our Burger King and Subway owned by the same company. Apparently there's been people that have... Uh, nothing that I can immediately uh, answer, but I can always do... I think they own Blimpies. 
You guys have a Blimpies in your in your area? We used to have Blimpies here. They were way better than Subways. But Blimpies only showed up in like Walmarts or grocery stores. Phantom, it really is, isn't it? It really is. We make fun of Subway because it's like a shitty version of a Danish sandwich chain called Nadia's that uses actual fresh ingredients. Yeah. Right, Pinoy? Somebody knows about Blimpies, man. You used to have Blimpies on our campus? They have them in Chicago, but haven't seen them here. Never heard of a Raven. Pinky. Blimpies was Subway with ingredients that they actually cut that day, not two days ago and, and from the refrigerator. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm bashing on Subway, guys. All right, folks. We're going into round two. But before we go into round two, let's give yourselves another chance to get some tickets. I'm going to come up with a scenario. scenario and the person that makes me laugh the most will get 50 tickets. Give me a second. I'll come up with something. Jetter, lurk away, dude. Lurk away. Okay. I've come up with a scenario. If you guys are ready, just type the letter R and I will give you your scenario and you have to finish the scenario in the most comedic way. It has to be comedic, and if I laugh, you will get yourself. What I say? Fifty tickets or a hundred tickets? I don't I'll let I'll let souls decide that. Okay, Kojo's ready, Hitaru Black is ready, Jetter, Pinoy, Lamajo, TNS, Hack Gaming, Phantom Pinky Gamer. And Hitaru says fifty. <clears throat> you all walk into a restaurant. You order your food. The same person that has taken your order says your order will be out shortly. You go sit down, you see the person leave the cash register, go to the bathroom, in which you also had to go to the bathroom at the same time. You proceed to go to the bathroom, hear the person in the toilet next to you blowing it up like diary extravaganza. They come out of the toilet, don't wash their hands, and they go fix your meal, bring it to your table. What do you do? Give me your scenario. The person that makes me laugh the most gets the 50 tickets. Let me delete these before I go back to them and accidentally. Oh no, I forgot. To... Boom. <clears throat> okay. Is this person use zero gravity theater? Pinky says gross. Stuffy says, I call the cops. Coach just says, oh God. <laughs> okay, that's a really descriptive emote. The one says, I smell poo. <laughs> I would say, Raven, what are you doing here? Wow. So you learn from Raven, eh? Jesus Christ! Report them to the health violation service for having moldy cheese and unhygienic standards no fitting for the elite smiley system we use in Denmark. Hack Gaming says, slap their friggin' face. Arctic Mule says, uh, did you put shit in my lunch? <laughs> Run out of the door and never come back. Trina Foxy sticks hand into butt crack and extends it out for a handshake. Oh my god. This is uncalled for, right, Crash? I asked them, would you feed this to your mother? Take the burger to the bathroom, shit in it, and take it back. Is it ironic that the thing I laughed at the most was a, a, a moat? It was the shit on the toilet and then the uh, face by Kojo. Are we going to allow that? Tell them, can I get a new one made by someone else? I don't need your unwashed shit stained bacteria filled. Tiny dick hands touching my food. What the hell? <laughs> we legit have a system in Denmark called the Elite Smiley, where depending on how Smiley mood you. What? What? Stink palm? I don't know that I like the fact that both Treat on a Foxy and Nudes of Dudes both know the stink palm method. Kojo, you get the 50 tickets, dude. Oh, mall rats? Haven't seen that one. Haven't seen that one. Kojo, well done. 50 freaking tickets. What the hell kind of music is being played right now? They are, they're evil. They're evil. 
All right, round two. These are going to be more or less, they could not be related to uh, fast food, but they could be. So this is, this is stretching your brain a little bit more, folks. Are you ready for round two? Question one. Yeah, Sassy is like super needy tonight, guys. Remind me after this question to let her out, because it could be that she needs to take a wicked guess. Yes, let's do this. Where is the world's largest restaurant? Yeah, a wicked guess, like a wicked pee. You know, wee wee, wee wee. Singapore, damn good guess. China, Japan. Keep them coming. Nobody's guessing yet. I will give you seven more seconds. Not Europe, Thailand, Texas, USA, America, Hong Kong. What if I got, what if I told y'all it was Syria, Syria, S Y R I A has the world's largest restaurant. Good damn guesses though. Russia has the world's largest restaurant with vodka. India has the second largest population. Surely you can't be serious. <laughs> Zykes, how are you this evening, dude? Are you serious? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. The puns have already started. All right, one more question and then I'm gonna let her out because she is literally looking at me with like big eyes. I thought it was gonna be one of those Bass Pro uh, shops with everything. <laughs> Largest rubble piles don't count, Raven. <laughs> Okay, this was actually going to ask you for a specific restaurant. But what the restaurant is, you may not know. Boom! The oldest restaurant in the United States in Boston is called... Cheers. No. Damn good guess, though. Damn good guess. The Boston Restaurant, also a good guess. The Tea Party, Lobsters, <laughs> Boston Market, Cheers. Just think of like seafood. Chowder. The Resto, the Restaurant, okay, come. The Royal Oak, three, two, one. Red Lobster says Latex Snake. <laughs> How are you doing, dude? It is called the Union Oyster House. But you can't be serious, <laughs> Phantom Damn it. It's called the Union Oyster House, guys. What? My community music is kind of cheesy. But that's the cause. That's the point of it, right? Oh, that sounds official. You see Pupper. Okay. Uh, the fact that you see Pupper means we need to take a quick break. Let me pause it. For those of you that are new here, we do intermission screens. These two are about to go to the bathroom. You're kind of cheesy, Raven. So you're going to find out what else we do in the ZGT. I'll be right back, my friends. Enjoy yourselves. Also, be thinking of, are we eating together tonight? Yes, we are, little Debs. But I got to go to the bathroom. And I plan I plans, I plans to wash my hands. Just Going straight to Ganon? Are you kidding me? Hell no, we're not going straight to Ganon. Uh, I'm going to try to... Okay, here's the idea of this. We all know that this game, if you stream it too much, like the way that... Calmly, calmly, Raven. How do I turn this? I can't, apparently. Um, oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. You guys just want, you guys just like me for my, t you guys just like me for my tickets. I'll never do that again, I promise. I kind of just want to bypass this all together. I, I feel like I can do it. I feel like I can do it, folks, and I'm going to. If, if you look at the uh, the 
packaging on the bo the box? Does it say ages two to four? <laughs> <laughs> what is this for? I don't really need this because you're not gonna give me any moons. Raven, if we said GG every time you did good, the chat would be flooded with GGs. Now that is what I call good complimentary. Com com compliment. Good. That's what I call good dialogue, Arknon. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. I'm like Porky Pig. And let's push your bitch ass off so we can see what the hell you're going to have for us. Ah! <laughs> Raven, you thought clearly there. You opened up your paraglider at the last second. It was almost a ripperino for Raven Zero. Jesus, you guys didn't see that shit. <laughs> you guys are going crazy with the bits and the donations tonight. Thank you so much. Soul says, touch the darkness when me good hunter. Wait. Oh, touch me, touch me darkness. Hold on. Let me start one more time. Touch the darkness within me, good hunter. Ha okay, question for everybody. This includes you, Zim. When your emotion chip is activated, have you ever been so scared you cried? <laughs> oh god! So are you gonna try to Skyrim this? Oh! Are you serious? <laughs> are you bloody? S How did you do that, bro? <laughs> I double jumped. How? Well, but. You know, now it's, everybody's gonna expect me to do this on the first try too, dude. Gaming theater, Raven is getting smarter and smarter. Oh God, here he is, here he is. He's, he's not gonna see us though. Stand still. Remember, they can't see if you if you don't move, they can't see you. Oh hell yeah! Watch this Jurassic Park method. Now, okay, that was not a good idea. Okay, this may be the end of Raven. Let's 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so. We do you think we could do it? I get out of here. I need all the practice I can get. I think we can do this. Silky Swift, go to bed. Silky Swift. Rest your head. It's always worth it for the practice. I'll down DS2 and help you. Please accept this is a gift. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Wait a second. What's in there? What's in the, what, what do you have brewing in here, sir? Okay, I should have known. That was such a stupid move. You know better than to jump into a pot of stew, Raven. Yes, my friend. Series exclusive stuff coming to my YouTube only. <clears throat> I'll also debut some of the trailers during my intermissions, but uh, for sure, for sure, there's going to be some new series that I, I plan on making with Zim and a couple of friends, and uh, they will be debuting on YouTube first. So, Arctic Mule, Hack Gaming, Phantom Skillet, Kojo, Jetter, Pinky, Crash, Little Dabs, Hutaru, Panoi, and the rest of you awesome people, are you ready co to continue round two trivia? Are we already on question number three? Wow. The night's going by too quickly. <clears throat>
We've got about an hour because I do need to take off earlier tonight. Remember that time when Raven and Beaston did exclusive YouTube co-op content? Those were the times. I want to bring that back, Pinoy. Conan Exiles was actually a pretty fun series to make. Oh! Wait a second. I have Conan Exiles on the PS4 now. I wonder how that runs. No matter. I do have a question though, uh, since we're talking about restaurants, can anybody, no comedy, no comedy, I just want you to tell me your experience. Has anybody had like a, a shitty experience that made you never, ever go back to that particular restaurant? It could be a franchise, it could be a local place, but it was so crappy you're never going back. If you did, Hotaru, tell me what it was and why you'll never go back. So with tickets, you can spin them. You can spin them on uh, do exclamation to spend. I actually do it myself, Arctic Buell. Well, when I have time. When I have time, you know. Food poisoning from Chipotle. That's enough for me, Phantom. Yes, having hairs in my Pizza Hut. Never eat there again. That's enough for me. Bad drive through experience at the McDonald's near work. Won't go back. What happened? TNS. Two, once was Don Pablo's and the service was horrible. Okay. 161,000 tickets, Lamajo. Good lord. And the food was just as bad. Jesus. Yeah, oh my god. Only time I ever tried KFC was in Japan and it was so boring. Really? I can imagine how KFC would be different in another country that it didn't originate from. Steak and Shake, the customer service was horrible. And the chicken was uncooked. Ugh. It actually makes me have knots in my stomach when I read about stuff like that. It was bland. Yep. The second one was chilies. The food was ineligible. Inedible. And so it's just not worth it. They had me pull into the parking lot. Waited 30 minutes. They never came out. Had to go back to work. Left pissed and disputed the charges on my car. I don't blame you on that one. KFC is big in Japan. I heard KFC is huge on Christmas Day. KFC in the Philippines was the bomb. I'd love to try that out. Back in the day, Denny's would serve my party. Uh, Denny's wouldn't serve your party because you're black. Wait, Denny's would serve my party because we were black. Haven't returned since. So they wouldn't. Serve, yeah, I remember that whole debacle. I remember that. Local restaurant near my mom's gave you food poisoning. Now, when you guys have had food poisoning, how soon after you ate the food could you tell it was food poisoning? You're sick for four days, lost 15 pounds. You know where you were never. You know where you never get sick, eating at home. Not my own experience, but for about a month, multiple stories came out for that a restaurant near me had maggots found in their food. People got food poisoning and Jesus. Welcome back, souls. Damn. That went down. No worries, dude. Positive left. I'm huge in Japan. Positive left. I cannot wait to visit Japan. One more year and I'll be there. I plan to document the whole damn thing. I think I'm actually a black man trapped in a Japanese body. I think I'm Japanese trapped in a black man's body. You guys know what I'm trying to say. When I had food poisoning, I ended up in the hospital. Pretty sure that's a quick way to tell. <laughs> that's not funny, Hitaro, but that's a good answer. You didn't miss anything. We're just sharing stories. I took a girl from London to Denny's when she visited the U.S. for the authentic U.S. experience. Before we ever even received our order, a drunken fight had broken out. Zags, what time was it at? Oh, this was like 7 p.m. I got her from the Elvez in Philly before they changed management. My buddy just moved to Japan. God, man. Friend, friend, friends of ours are going to be in Japan this this year. We're going to wait about a year before we go visit. <clears throat> Chipotle near my job gave me a, a, a few of us gastrosis. Haven't been back since. Yeah. Moo Moo Nation, good to see you, dude. We're talking about shitty experiences at restaurants that made you never go back. How are you doing, Moo Moo? Guys, make sure you check out Moo Moo Nation. Good streamer. Also, and Positive Left and Kojo, both of them as well. It was lunchtime? Japan looks like tons of fun. You've never been? 
Ninja Dudes? I could have sworn you've been to Japan. Oh, Korea. I thought you were in Japan as well. <clears throat> I don't even feel the correct. I don't even feel like correcting myself. <laughs> Last time I went to Denny's, a cop was loudly telling the what do you tell a woman with two black eyes joke. Unbelievable. Chipotle has made me sick twice. Never going back, even though the food is yummy. Ooh. I don't really like Chipotle because of that reason. Ugh. Hell yeah, Phantom. Nope, went to Korea. I'll never go back to Bojangles, the Union Station in DC. What does is, what is Bojangles serve? Do they serve garden burgers like Gamer or do they serve like fried foods? No worries, positive left. Oh God, I'll take that hamburger. Everyone I know who has visited Japan has since moved there. I can imagine it's beautiful, I hear. I hear it's expensive though. Is that is that correct? It's expensive in Japan. Korea has the best fried chicken. Oh, Bojangles is like Popeyes. Yes. Okay. Does anybody have a Bojangles near them? If you do, let me know. I will come visit you. Don't ruin this Jetter cheese. <laughs> Japan is cheap compared oh compared to Denmark. Gotcha. I only found out later that Denny's had a corporate-wide problem when it went public, but at the time, no one would believe us. Yeah, Ko Kojo, I remember my parents saying something. Uh, my parents were like, have you noticed every time we come into this restaurant, they sit all the black people in one area? They sit, like, every time we were sitting next to the bathrooms or the kitchen. And that went on for, like, a couple of years. And then it, when Denny's was ratted out about being certain policy towards people of color I was like holy crap I ain't going to Denny's ever again service sucks but chicken is great anybody ever heard of Williams chicken if you have a Williams chicken near you raise your hands please Williams chicken let me get the next question queued up you just went outside baby you just went outside baby what are you doing what are you doing can you go lay down for me? Go lay down. Go lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Jesus. Saya Gaming? I don't know who's winning tonight. Everybody's having a fantastic time. How are you doing, Saya? I suppose it's better now, but they just lost me. Yeah, lost me for good. I hold grudges. Gojo. I like to say that I don't. I was talking to nudes and dudes about this the other day. I'd like to say that I don't hold grudges and I let go of things. I don't. I just realized that tonight. A lot of things piss me off and a lot of things will not be forgiven. Yeah, William's chickens, guys. Then he's setting up their own segregated system, pretty much. Uh, he holds all grudges, right? I used to like Kenny Rogers chicken. I've heard of that one, but I've never been there. Guys, type R. If you're ready for question number three to be given to you in the chat game. Chat thing. Yeah. Okay. Put on knows what I'm talking about. Hack Gaming kind of did it. Kind of did it, but you know. There you go. Type, type. Bar. <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Okay. Let's see here. I think this is an easy question, so get your fingers ready. Boom. Uh, McDonald's once featured a grilled sandwich. With what fruit on it? Boom, Hataru! Little Deb's new too! But Hataru answered so quick, you get those 10 tickets. Pineapple! McDonald's actually grilled something, yes, Lamajo, and they had a pineapple on it! Pineapple's only good by itself or on pizza. At me. At me. Bruh. Mm -hmm. I literally read an article about it today. I'd never heard of that one. Yeah. On a pork sandwich with ham. Okay. Okay. I can, I can deal with that. It was a pineapple fish burger for Lent. Well, I said some of them. Like the next question is not going to be about a fast food. It's going to be about a statistic. You guys ready for this one? Did not sell very well. Well, in America, generally, pineapple doesn't do that well. I don't think pineapple is received well mixed with other foods. 
No, not ham ground pork or shredded. 100%. So this one time at band camp, <laughs> but we, mom, dad, and me, went to this restaurant that we could go to since I was born. We hadn't been in about two years, so we thought we'd do it again. It's a Tex-Mex place, and it is was family run. Was because it had been bought out by someone about a year before we went. Staff fully changed. Everything, the enchiladas were stone cold, hot chili, Oh God, and cheese on top. Not very good as well. No flavor. Super dry. All in all, haven't been back since. It's almost, it's almost, I don't know about you guys, but I take my food seriously. So when I have a bad food experience, it guts me to the core. It ruins my night. It ruins my night, guys. How often do I experience racism? These days, Arctic Mule? Hardly ever, unless I go to a back-ass country, uh, back-ass town. But locally, hardly ever. On Twitch, it's died down a lot. Probably because whenever somebody tries to troll, the whole chat on us laugh so hard that they're like, "Mayday, Mayday! Don't go to the ZGT. They don't even care about freaking racism." So I have a good community. <clears throat> Every time Raven starts stream, pineapple is amazing on pizza. I agree, P Pinky. Is the stream sponsored by McDonald's? You're asking a disproportionate amount of questions about them. Listen, Crash Down, shut the fuck up. I'll make sure to get you a cup too. Just because McDonald's sponsored doesn't mean it doesn't have to be done. You know? <laughs> Pineapple is great on pizza. It is, guys. I make really good food at home, so when I go out, it better be great too. It rubs me the wrong way when it's marrow. See, that's a good point, Saya. For those of you that cook your own food, you know what good food is when you cook it. So when you have it, when you pay for it and it's crappy, it just, it irritates me, man. Sweet and sour pork. Okay. That's awesome. I'll give you that one, Hataru. Just saying, you have to disclose they spawn. Oh, crap. I do need to put sponsored by McDonald's. And just kidding. Just kidding. All right. <clears throat> Next question. But that is not a McDonald's question. Okay? Why am I paying for this crap when I could cook my own crap at all? Exactly. Exactly. Now, has anybody actually had such a bad experience? You ate all the food and you asked for your money back? And you got it? I'm curious. Has anybody been that bold? You ate the food and got your money back. Mr. Doc Suni. Trivia night. Trivia night. We are doing restaurant trivia. How are you doing this evening, Mr. Duck Suni? Yep, no, nope, nope, that's wrong. Nope, if the experience is that bad, I won't eat a bit. Yep, if the food is that bad, I'll stop eating. Agreed, agreed. Just don't go back, agreed. Didn't eat all because it was it was a cook. Ugh. If it's not good, you say something up front. Agreed. I'm not one to complain unless something like raw chicken, so no. It is, it's, it's super shady. If I don't like the food, I just put it aside. And if the service is also bad, I tip really poor. Oh, God, yes, Saya. I had a friend. We had a shitty experience. And my friend still tipped like $10. Well, I feel bad. I mean, it's not their fault. What do you mean it's not their fault? This person literally did everything in the book to basically say, you are not part of my problem. F you, get out of here. I don't know. Some people still tip. If you eat your food and ask for your money back, you need to get a spear stuck up your ass. <laughs> when I was a waiter, people did that and they never got a refund if they ate it all. I can see that, you know. Caramel apple pie. Doing just fine? Good, Mr. Dark Suni. I've left no tip if the service sucked, but I would not pay for what I ate. A hot skillet chicken dish where the chicken wasn't hot. Jesus. If it's home cooked, I will eat it because I don't like food waste. And if it's on and only if it's pretty dang bad, I won't eat it. I hear you. Next question, folks. Coming at you in the chat. On Valentine's Day, how much do Americans as a whole drop eat at drop eating at a restaurant? Dollar figure. How much does Americans as a whole dollar figure drop on Valentine's Day? $15 million, $400, all Americans as a whole, all Americans, you're saying $400, $120, $2.5 billion, $10 million, $1.4 billion, 
I have no idea what that is, Hack Gaming. I want to say it's like a hundred trillion Castilian. Wait, is it Americans eating out? Yes. A couple. Gotcha. 250 million. It depends on whose fault the poor service is. Two million. Uh, when you can't relate because you are from Sweden. Take a guess. Take a guess. We've got three more seconds. Two. One. Who in the chat was closest to eight billion dollars? Eight billion dollars on Valentine's Day? Wow. Wow. Zero because Valentine's Day sucks. Oh, I agree. Me and my wife uh, generally hate that day because it's just a big old sales and marketing scheme. Kojo wins? What did Kojo say? 2.5 billion. Yeah. Yep. Give that to... Let's get 10 tickets to Souls if you guys don't mind. If the poor service is the fault of the server, I lower the tip. Agreed. Sometimes I've had a, an amazing server... And the food was just crappy. Like, I could tell that the server was like, oh my, I am so sorry. Do you want me to fix this for you? Do you want me to take it back? And the server was amazing. Was best, yeah. Hacked wins, he said $2. <laughs> also, F Valentine's Day and all Hallmark holidays. I agree. I agree. Okay. Next question. I... Don't actually expect anybody to get this correct. If you do, I'm going to be shocked. Seriously, I'm going to be shocked. Uh, Valentine's Day is the best day of the year for one reason. BJ's. Like, I can see the ticket and they told the kitchen the right order and the kitchen fucked up and I blame the kitchen, not the server. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. St. Hans Day is a day in Denmark that is sort of like Wicker Man Day. Cool. Love should be shown on any random Tuesday. BJ's. Uh, V-Day makes single people feel bad. It does. It really does. Valentine's Day makes $8 billion. Still can't fix that $22 trillion debt. Boom! The best day is February 15th for the half-off chocolate. God, Sassy just loves being here, doesn't she? I don't know the answer. Was $2 billion close? Yep. $2 billion was closer to $8 billion than anybody else guessed without going over. Wait, but I learned about this day called Blowjob and Steak Day. That is an American thing. It is. It totally is. Raven, might be time for a sassy cam. I'm actually working on it. I have an, I have an extra cam that I want to put where it can just be seen on the uh, the bed. Mm hmm Guys, can I say something? And Lady Raven would not be mad at me sharing this. I'm so thankful that I don't have to beg for BJ's. She loves doing it. Question number five. What singer sells avocados to Chipotle? Come on. What singer si sells avocados to Chipotle? Uh, you did? Justin Bieber. No, not at all. It's a stupid day that just feels very demeaning towards women. Now, unless they want to do it. Margaritaville, dude. That's actually a good guess. Shakira, another good guess. Miley Cyrus. Mm, I knew it. He lives in Southern California. Keanu Reeves is a singer now? Guys. Guys. <laughs> no, because we just brought it back up. Latex thing says, that works out on an average of $24 per citizen of the U.S. Oh, that's not bad then. Husky got it because Husky Googled, but it is Jason Mraz. Madonna. Can you guys imagine Madonna with a avocado garden? Mm. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Not just women can give BJ's. Touche, say ya. Touche. Be Deanna Ro <laughs> Diana Ross and Beyonce. Ariana Grande. I can see the interview, damn it. <clears throat> so funny. Nope, I actually really like Jason Mraz, so I know random stuff. About Dude, Husky. Sassy is trying to warn you that Timmy is stuck in the well again. <laughs> Where is Tate? There Tate is, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, Husky's right. 
Husky, you want to give yourself 10 tickets? I like Japan's White Day more. What does that mean? Japan's White Day. Explain yourself. I don't know if I like the sound of that. As it's tasteful version that isn't demeaning. Mm. All right. Question number six. Guys, I was going to try to go two hours tonight. Uh, actually, we still will. We'll still go two hours. There's way more than I thought that I forgot about. So uh, question number six is coming at you. If you guys are ready. <clears throat> My friend Evie, who loves avocados. White Day is amazing. Raven, can I instead give everyone else 10 tickets? Do it, Husky. You have all the control here. Can I Can I get you guys to explain this White Day? <laughs> Pinoy, do it. She'll go, he ain't lying. He ain't lying. Hold on a second. White day in Japan. Sassy, go lay down. Go lay down, honey. Lay down. Lay down. She's so needed tonight. Thursday of March 14th is white day in China. But is that what you guys are... No, Japan is what you guys are referring to. White day is a day... Hold on. I gotta read this. White Day is a day that is marked in Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, Singapore, Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, and China on March 14th, one month after Valentine's Day. White Day was first celebrated in 1978, was started by the National Confectionery Industry Association as an answer day to Valentine's Day on the grounds that men should pay back the women who gave them chocolate and other gifts on Valentine's Day. What? Let's get into a non-sexist conversation here. Valentine's Day on the grounds that men should pay back the women who gave them chocolate and other gifts on Valentine's Day. Um, how many of you think that women get more gifts on Valentine's Day than men? Let's be honest. I'm not trying to create an argument. Let's be really adult here. On your feeling, do you feel like women get more gifts than men do on Valentine's Day? Sure they do, which is poop. Say I completely agree. In Japan, it's a one-sided thing. Valentine's Day is for women to give men chocolates. That, see, that doesn't seem right to me. In Japan, the culture is women giving chocolate. No clue? I've never gotten a Valentine's Day gift? Really? Pretty sure that's factual, statistically. Can confirm White Day. Depends on how late the Walgreens stayed open. Valentine's Day is a very different day in Japan. This is a GGT. We can't be adults here. <laughs> Forever 489X, you are damn right about that, man. Panoi, thank you. I'll admit I shower my girl with gifts, but that's a lot of times over the year. Exactly, souls. Don't make it be one event, guys. Surprise her once, twice, two, three times a month, folks. They split it into two Valentines, is the women to men, and then White Day is the oh, that is genius. That way nobody. Wait a second, though. I found a kink in that. Let's say, for instance, Valentine's Day comes around. I'm with my significant other. I shower her with a shitload of gifts, and then White Day comes around. The day before, she goes, "I'm not feeling you." We're done. What? And you know what's happened? It's totally happened. I've seen guys dump women on the day before Valentine's Day for the very reason they didn't have any money to give her anything. Shitty men, dude. Raven can find a kink in anything. You're damn right. Valentine's, I go extra cheesy, though. Shouldn't every day be a love day? Thank you. Then you are fucked and you're stupid. <laughs> Japanese ladies wouldn't do that. They're classier than that. That's cool. You see why I want to go live in Japan? <laughs> Arctic Mule, thank you for being here. Seriously, man. Yeah, the, the community is awesome. I didn't build nothing. They built it. They really did. Arctic Mule, you're welcome back anytime. You see Sassy still. 
That's pretty much happened to my old boy, my oldest friend. They were married for 25 years. He left her for a woman 10 years older. I mean, them older women, though. Little Debs. What? Oh, okay. Dobbs, how are you doing? Ladies are classier than that. Whatever it is, I can say that's wrong. <laughs> Oh, man. And also, thank you, everyone, for welcoming people in and then also uh, telling people goodbye. I really appreciate that. I believe pre-dumping is more common before Christmas. More Christmas gift expenses. Yes. Yes, indeed. I forgot about that, too. Christmas. And you know what else is crappy? Without getting into politics, layoffs happen more times before Christmas. Have y'all noticed that? Companies decide the week before Thanksgiving and the week before Christmas to do their layoffs. Why? Heartless, man. Vitamins indeed, Dobbs. I love you for continuing to remember. Raven, do you ever get a heart-shaped pizza on Valentine's Day? I've never had that. Do you know suicide spikes just before Christmas? I can see that too. Sadly, I, I can. That's because of the end of the year bonus, Christmas bonuses. Especially because uh, winter depression is a thing. One more thing I'll share with you guys. <laughs> and then we'll go into the next thing. I got to share because it pissed me off. You know how the company that I used to work for decided on their bonuses? The CEOs and the, the uh, directors sat around a, cha a table. Literally said this. Guys, do we um, give out bonuses this week? I mean, excuse me, excuse, excuse me, little girl, excuse me. Do we give out bonuses this year or, or not? Raise your hands. So nobody gets bonuses this year, you're saying? Do we use their bonuses to give ourselves salary increases? Wow! Our bonuses fed their pockets. I know, Raven. Raven, that's not uncommon. Are you kidding me? That happens across the world. But listen, it was my first exposure to it. Confirming it, that's what they do? Not surprising. Yep. <sighs> I know the music is... <laughs> the music is com comedic and I was going for serious alright next question is going to kind of confuse you because I asked a question about on Valentine's Day how much do Americans as a whole drop eating at restaurants the answer was 8 billion um this does not this is not going to relate to this next question it's a different day okay here comes the question. What is considered the busiest day of the year for restaurants? You like this? The day after Thanksgiving. That would be for retail. That would be for retail. I looked it up actually. New Year's Day, Christmas, it's probably something stupid like New Year's Day. Day after Christmas, good guesses guys. New Year's Day. Damn good guesses. Black Friday? No. Get this. And you guys are going to go. Farking Mother's Day. Mother's Day is considered the busiest day of the year for restaurants. Think about it. Everybody takes their mom out to the damn restaurant. I don't because my mom says I would not go anywhere near a restaurant on Mother's Day. It does make sense. It does. Oh, what's the song called? I want to download it. This call, this song is by a, a man named Kevin McLeod, and it's called Cipher. C-I-P-H-E-R. Kevin McLeod, the name of the title is Cipher. C-I-P-H-E-R. No one's going to get a lecture from mom, right? My mom prefers me to make ribs. Ooh. Yeah, no, it's stupid to go out and eat on Mother's Day. It is. Two-hour waits. I never had guessed that. I know. Yeah, because you can take them for food and then drop them off again on the way home. <laughs> they know they're going to get the business, so they cheap out on everything. Oh, they half your meal. You get half of what you would normally get at a restaurant. 
A quick tip from Raven Zero. If you want the most food from a restaurant and you want the best experience, go at the hours right after lunch between 2.30 and 4.30. And then not between 4.30 and 7.30, but between 8.30 and 11. If the restaurant closes at 10, you'll still get good food at 9. I promise you, folks. Oh, Raven, I found a video game remix playlist on Spotify. Dude, can you link that to me, Panoy, or link it in the chat so I can go ahead and queue it up for, for my uh, retro nights? All right, question number seven, folks. Question number siete. Mother's Day. Oh. Let's find out what Mother's Day is for most people. Mother's Day in the United States is May the, May the 12th. This year, it's May the 12th. What is Mother's Day where you guys are at? Some people was like, it happened last week. <laughs> like March. May 12th is a date in Denmark. <laughs> it's the same day. Oh, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and click this. Oh, my God. This is going to be such a good playlist. Thank you, Panoy. Those who fight. Oh, God. Chrono Trigger. Mega Man 2. H hold on. Oh, I got to sign in. Guess I'll do that later. Any holiday can be busy. Mother's Day is the second Sunday in May. Sunday, May. Uh, yep, that, I knew it. Some For some of you, it just passed. Latex has just passed for you guys. G3, how are you doing? Why are you poking your head in here? You know your seat's saved. Get in here and get comfortable. If you want to. All right. Question number seven. This is going to stump everyone. So if you don't know the answer, simply give me the best guesstimate, the funniest guesstimate, and you, you still might get yourself some tickets. That sounds dirty. Yeah, she likes to poke her head in. The word restaurant is French, meaning what? The word restaurant is French, meaning what? Eat. Good guess. Service. Tony Dance. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, G3. I'm just, I like when you poke your head in. Giggity. Eat to serve. Uh, no idea. Flunked French. Rest your rump. <laughs> Consume. Rest at the ranting midget. <laughs> oh my god. We want your money. Okay. Um, it means food that restores. But I think the person that got me to laugh. Who got me to laugh the most? Defecate? <laughs> yeah. Food that restores, guys. I don't... Food that restores? Translates to restaurant? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who made me laugh the most. So you guys can decide. Yeah, she wants so much attention. We're gonna have to bring her back up here for a little bit. That sounds fake. No, that's true. Look it up, Hataru. She really is. I, Lady Raven gets back late tonight, so she's going to be ecstatic when she gets home, man. She is super, super needy right now. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what? <sighs> Three more questions.
One being easy, I think, and the other two being pretty difficult because a lot of you might think might, might overthink it. Just so we can get a check on everybody that's ready, some of you might have gone to go to the bathroom, some of you might have gone to get some food, some of you might be drinking right now. Uh, type R that you are ready, and I will, during that time, tell you how much I appreciate you being here in the ZGT. I really do appreciate it. It's like you guys are watching me age each day. I just don't know what to tell you. Little Debs is ready. Lamajo is ready. Hitaru Black is ready. This name stinks. Lataro. I mean, I mean, Latex Snake. Red Beard is ready. How are you doing, Red Beard? R that I am ready, Geeky says. Gamer 1991 is ready. And so is Hacked Gaming. Let's do it. Your next question. Ooh. Ooh. Almost typed the actual answer with it, too. Would have been good. The oldest fast food restaurant chain is. Bataro Dude. Well done. It is. It is. It's White Castle 1921. Can we get Hataro Black 10 tickets for having the correct answer once again? Yeah. Hack Gaming knew, and so did Gamer. Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't have... I don't know if I would have guessed White Castle. I'm not too familiar with that franchise, though. I've only e eaten at it like once or twice. You watch the documentary. 10 big ones. Hataro Black dunking on us. <laughs> Also, this is something I generally don't share, but I do respect this streamer. Uh, Say it, Gaming, if you're here, you probably already know this. Did you guys know? This is an amazing feat for streamers. If you're a streamer, raise your hand, let me know, because you're going to really appreciate this. Co Carnage. Y'all know who that is? Co Carnage? An amazing, friendly guy. Streams during the day. He streamed. 2,000 days straight. Didn't miss a stream. That's five fucking years of not missing a stream. I'd like to point out that I haven't gotten a trivia question wrong all night. <laughs> Big Merle, keep it that way, dude. Good to see you, man. Yeah, 2,000 days, guys. That's a feat in itself. Co Carnage did that. I'm gonna try to type it out, but you know how, you know how I am about getting people's stuff wrong. Let me make sure that's the right one. That's him, Co Carnage. Two thousand days, guys. I can't even make it a full week without having to take a break. But you guys make me motivated to keep going, so I appreciate. Also. I have so much hair on me, it's not even funny. Lethal Frag just did a streak, did know the length. Two th I think that's the longest on Twitch. See, I don't think it was actually 2,000 days, because did he take a few days off when his kid was born? No, I think he still streamed like an hour or two. <clears throat> Pinoy, I said the same thing. I was like, wait, did he? I think he streamed for like an hour or two, which doesn't break the streak. 2,000 days and then takes a day. <laughs> he, he, he does, he's taking tomorrow off. Yeah, he has 1 million followers, guys. 3,650 days in a row. Amazing. Amazing. Did he stream the birth? Because I have questions. <laughs> All right, folks. Question number nine, and then we're going to go to round three. Round three is going to be name that restaurant by the commercial. We've done it before, but I think, uh, I think we can do it again. <clears throat> You guys ready? What is considered and called the most frequently least popular pizza topping? I'll give you a hint. It is not pineapple. It is not pineapple. Hataru Black got it right. So did TNS and Geeky Girl, Ga Geeky Gamer Girl, Geeky Girl Gamer, poking her head in. It is indeed anchovies. Anchovies, guys. Olives, Little Debs, you better not tell me that you don't like olives on pizza. I fucking love olives on pizza. Black olives, to be exact, because I'm racist like that. 
just saw your statue dragon is finally there. Yeah, did you see? Um, yep, you saw the update. Yeah, not surprised by that. Hack Gaming, thank you for the host. You love olives too? Uh, spelling count, Raven? Not really. Not really. Oh, then Kojo got it. Excuse me. Kojo and Hotaru got it. Uh, Souls, can you give Kojo the anchovy 10 tickets? And also give him some anchovies. Black olives are phenomenal. They get all shriveled up and dried out and gross. That happens to other things on males too, little devs. Now I feel bad. Caesar dressing often has anchovies too. Really? Huh. Black olives, pepperoni, fresh mushroom. Oh yes, Lamajo. It's basically salty fish that is boring. It's not really special. Uh, and Hitaru Black. Thank you, Souls. Thank you. Um, anchovies. I honestly have not had them. Are they the small? Are they really small? Little fish? I've had sardines. But I've had sardines in a can. And when I went to go put my fork in it, it was super, super soft. And then I, I went to go eat it. And the, I tasted the bones inside the sardines. And the bones were somewhat brittle, but they gave way. Oh! But the, the flavor was not bad. Sardines flavor are not that bad. One anchovy goes a long way. They're really not that bad. Bad anchovies are bad. Ham, pineapple, black olive is one of my favorite combos. Good anchovies are amazing. On pizza, they look like salty eyebrows. We'll never order anchovies ever on pizza then. Sardines are different than they also come in different flavorings. Yeah, I had this one that came in like a hot sauce. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. The best pizza is sausage, pepperoni, red onions, artichokes, green peppers with tomatoes after baking so they are cold still. I had dinner about two and a half hours ago. And now I'm hungry again. Fresh or broken down in some other dish, they're fine. Anchovies are nothing like sardines. They are science fiction level salty. <laughs> you got Prince Albert in a can. <laughs> Anchovies need to be real, uh, real fresh or they can get really nasty. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I take sardines and put them on a hard cracker smashed. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, G3, have you ever had smoked salmon? Smoked salmon on crackers. So good. So, what the hell's going on here? Here we go. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob, wear pants. Had that for dinner last night, minus the crackers. Smoked salmon is... Give it to me cold. Give it to me hot. Give it to me warm. Give it to me lukewarm. I don't care. It's fantastic. All right. Final question of this round, and then we move on to musical cues. Salmon is devil fish. We could get along well because I would never eat your food, and you would never eat mine. You don't like salmon? What the hell are we gonna do whenever I visit you? And I, I'm gonna cook you your favorite food and you cook me mine? It's not a bad idea, actually. Chuck E. Cheese was founded by the brains behind another world-changing creation. What was it? Kojo, my man. That's actually correct, folks. The Atari, the guy behind Chuck E. Cheese was behind the Atari sensation. You know what I'm talking about, the home console that featured the beautiful game known as E.T. Wow. Yeah, you knew he's your hero? Okay then, that's fantastic. Then why do those puppets look jacked? Okay, 
Thank you for reminding me something, Lataro. I mean, Lamajo. I'm gonna find you guys a Chuck E. Cheese video. Chuck E. Cheese's uh, puppets. For those of you that have never experienced Chuck E. Cheese's, it's basically the Five Nights at Freddy's of my childhood. Their band Okay, I've got it pulled up here. You guys ready? Captain Ragtag says, son of a bitch, wanted kids to get fat off pizza and then stay home all day playing games. <laughs> That's basically it, Captain Ragtag. He made the cycle. Thought you were gonna say the beautiful game adventure. No, E.T. was the best game ever. Let's switch over to this and go full screen with this. Hold on a second. I want you guys to experience a nightmare, a nightmare. This indeed does happen at Chuck E. Cheese's. With a license plate reading G00D, D0G. Please move your vehicle. It is parked in a loading zone. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I have your attention, please? If you are here for a reserved birthday party, please make your way back to the table. Once again, all reserved birthday party guests, please return to your table. It's almost time for the Chuck E. Cheese's birthday star spectacular! Hey, Pass Polly, can, can I have a slice of that pizza? Sure, but uh, I think the uh, microphone is uh, still on. Ooh. Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, <clears throat> Once again, Chuck E. Cheese's birthday star spectacular begins soon, so get ready! Okay, turn the mic off. Let's skip ahead, shall we? Or maybe not. Let's watch in horror. Positive left, we're all freaking out about our childhood. when you were eight years old and told, oh, it's fun, Raven. Gamer, thank you for being here. I'll take the popcorn. Look at me when you're talking to me, Dan. <laughs> Let's skip ahead when they start singing.
I just want you all to look at this. Look at this one. Let's play this muted. I I'm not trying to abuse you. L look at look at her. Look at her. First of all, who the fuck is this? What is she supposed to be? We know she's kind of a bird or something. Right? A duck. A dog. A, you know, an Italian man that makes pizza. Who the hell is this? Now watch this. I want y'all to experience this with no music. In fact, let's make it Fright Night Friday, shall we? This guy, this guy, look at the eyes, look at the eyes, okay, I like the scary music, I actually made it fit, <laughs> okay, my daughter was scared by Chuck E. Cheese, they had her sitting with her back to where Chuck E. Cheese came out, everyone else saw him come out, but she just had a giant mouse appear out of nowhere, she was scared shitless, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, man, it's so insane. All right, let me go ahead and um, take this off the screen and go back to uh, <laughs> what we know. And we're going to do the... I think I've lost track. Okay, round three. You're simply going to name the tune or name the restaurant or franchise that the tune relates to. It's going to start off super easy and then probably get a little bit more difficult. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to sleep now. Knowing what's also creepy, return the slap. Creeps me out just reading that. Okay, can I, can I copy this, please? kind of want you to copy that, and then I want you to put this here. All right, so unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about the delay on this one. So if you are at a computer, if you're watching this on an actual physical computer or a laptop directly connected, you get the quickest response. If you're on a mobile device, you're about eight to 10 seconds shorter or after. Don't know why they do that. Get this, if you're on a console, your ass has a 20 to 25 second delay. Consoles just, I don't know why. Or excuse me, on a smart TV, you also have a 20 to 25 second delay. Mobile, eight to 10, 15 seconds. Um, and a direct computer will be one to two seconds. I, Tree Nine Five said, I totally hear you. I totally hear you. If you're on a console, you're fucked anyways. No, console, Twitch on consoles is impressive. It looks so good. Fire Fang, how are you doing? Welcome back. Tonight's community night where we're doing trivia. We just freaked everybody out by looking at the electronic puppets of Chuck E. Cheese. But tonight's theme is restaurant trivia. Whole new meaning. Twitch on console and mobile is pretty decent. Yes. Yes, indeed. I mean, they're all good. They just, I don't know why they added a delay to the other devices. All right. You're just in time, Fire Fang. We're going to start. You're going to guess the tune and you're going to tell me what restaurant the tune is two. Is everybody ready? Just um, type YS for yes, sir. Let's show some respect. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Kojo, Firefang, Redbeard, Panoi, Hat Gaming, Latex Snake, Lamajo, Raven, and my final Five Nights at Freddy's. Fred There's a Five Nights at Freddy's um, that you actually walk around the warehouse. I'd play that. 
Oh, you guys ready? Nope, I'm fucked. Like, I'm going to be able to kick ass these jingles. Here it goes. Come on, guys. Too spooky for me. That was indeed Chili's. Panoy got it. See, I told you guys. That's easy, man. GG, Panoy. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Oh, you guys want to hear the remix? Let's do it. Chili's baby back ribs. I want my chili's baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Chili's baby back ribs. What is that? Chili's baby back ribs. With barbecue sauce. That was my remix. You're never going to find that on the internet anywhere, folks. Remember, how many tickets for round three? I say 20. Double it. These are going to be hard. Er. Next one. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for being here. Good Lord. Check out this clip, Zero Gravity Theater, streaming. Uh, streaming <laughs> oh, my God. What did you just clip? Can I look at this really quick, folks? I, I don't. I generally don't look at my clips, but uh, let's look at it together, shall we? Yeah, let me get it queued first. Oh, yeah. trivia community tonight. What is this clip? God, I'm kind of nervous about what this is going to be. <clears throat> Display. Okay, full screen it. Let's see what it is. You guys want to hear the remix? Let's do it. Chili's baby back ribs. I want my chili's baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Chili's baby back ribs. What is that? Chili's baby back ribs. With barbecue sauce. Why didn't anybody fucking tell me I can't sing or dance? Jesus Christ. That's how I look when I sing? JK, 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 JK. All right, let me get the next one queued up here. <clears throat> Copy it. Put it here. Paste it. Do it. But don't you play. Don't you even play. Next one, folks. Three, two, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Who didn't follow? You guys ready? That's easy, guys. TNS and Firefang. I saw it first there. You guys knew Subway. Mm hmm. No, please. Why? I agree. I agree. That song is absolutely horrible, especially since the bastard Jared fucking kicked his ass in jail. Um, oh, my God. All I can think of is Justin Tuck dancing to the song. Don't know who that is. But we will give the t uh, 20 tickets to TNS. I give you five dollar. I give you a five dollar foot. Turn on a foxy. You have a foot long. I put it all in my mouth, and I'll enjoy it. What's going on here? Turn on a foxy has a foot long. I think so. And Raven's saying that he'll put that foot long in his mouth. I think so. Sweet. All right, let me get the next one queued up. I almost said the t I almost said the damn title to the next one that I was about to queue up. Tonight's stream has been brought to you by the Subway and McDonald's. Listen, listen. Just because I got paid and you guys didn't, I'm 
kidding. If I ever got paid, if I ever, okay, mark my words, mark my words. If I get sponsored and I do a sponsor stream, I will gift out 30 subs that night. You hear me? 30, 25 to 30 subs that night as appreciation because you know what? You guys made it happen if I get sponsored. There's a pupper in the background. Yeah. It's my doggy sassy. I miss when Subway used to cut the V shape in the in the top. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, they did. Fixed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, Rabin. <laughs> Sorry. You guys ready for the next one? Let's just pause this really quick. Your next song, if you guys get this, I'm going to be very shocked. Dude, Panoi, thank you for being here, man. I really do appreciate your support. Have y'all guys noticed that there's now a new emote when you've hit your nine months? Your people, your people. Here it comes. I'm not blooming good. I'm blooming great. Put a shrimp on the barbie and sizzle my steak. Woo, I want that onion to bloom. And Shut your mouth, TNS. Redbeard 2, how did y'all know? I have never heard this song in my life. I'm not blooming good, I'm blooming great. Put a shrimp on the barbie and sizzle my steak. Woo, I want that onion to bloom. And it get in my senses like a sonic boom. No rules, just right. So bold, so nice. And I'm so, 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 so ready for that Outback steak tonight. What? And you guys knew it. Well, I guess TNS gets those tickets. We got two. Oh, we got three more. The last one's a bonus, actually. Uh, it's for only a select few of people that have it in the area. If you do have it in the area and you guessed it, I'm going to be so shocked. Pretty dope song, though. It really. They used to go all out on that kind of stuff, man. They really used to go out. Holy crap, it's 9 o'clock. I was supposed to be finished two minutes ago. Yes, I'm finishing early tonight. Normally, I go for three hours. But tonight, I got to stop at two hours. We'll do these three. I will give you more tickets. We'll, we'll show somebody some love, Pinky. And then let's get the hell out of here. Three more. Can you guess this one? Sweet, salty, tastiest, bacon and pancakeiest, big yawns are okay, yummy syrups, yes way, butter pecan, blueberry, old fashioned straw. You ought to figure it out by that one. Boom, red beard, it is IHOP. This is so good. Yeah, it's IHOP. Wow, you guys are fantastic, man. I only knew the subway. <laughs> Listen, I only knew the subway and the chilies. I don't remember the, any of the other ones, but the fact that you guys remember, I'm impressed. I thought everyone had an IHOP. We have an IHOP. I just don't ever remember that commercial. But not that commercial. Never heard that one either. <laughs> also, our IHOPs suck in Philly. Our IHOPs in Texas used to be extraordinary. We used to get pancakes this big. And two years ago, they started making them this big. What? You're the International House of Pancakes. You should have the biggest. And you're serving me these size pancakes? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, all you can eat pancakes that are this big. Oh, that's right. They're IHOB. International House of Burgers. They're too soggy. They're actually, they're, they're decent for me. Um, now, if I add a lot of syrup, God, yes, they become soggy. Please don't go there, Fire Fang. I've never been to an IHOP, but seen one in California. They, I won't tell you not to try it because they're decent. Yeah, if you don't like pancakes, then yeah, I'm a, I'm a waffle boy. Yeah, Redbeard, I'm a waffle boy. I don't know about soggy, but they are very, very cakey. That I'll, that I'll give you. I'll give you that, PL. I'll give you that. Okay, next sound cue that I mistakenly did not cue up. Oh, God. Copy. Okay. 
Never had a crepe. I've never had crepes before in my life. You guys ready? Let's do this. That should have given it away. I, I let Burger. How did you guys know before you heard the catch line, man? You guys are freaking fantastic, dude. Kojo, you're right. Burger King. Can you give that to Lomajo as well, Souls? Holy crap. Lulu knew Hutar. I feel like I just not. I did not pay attention to these jingles when I was younger. Dobbs, I'll take a pickle as well. I didn't know it was Burger King, though. Yeah. Phantom, right? Phantom's like, I'll take a sub snack over Burger King. <laughs> Actually, remember that ad? Really? I'm old too, dude. I just know the serve it your way, but that's it. I love the 80s or the. Oh, I love that show, Hataru. God, I love that show. Most of us were too young for that one, but the lyrics were the same for a more recent one. We gotcha. Did it. We totally did it. We totally did it, guys. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just exclamation see it. Excuse me. I just started with everybody. You know none of this. Try your hand at this one. Before we do the last one, this is a bonus. I will give you 150 tickets. That's pretty good. 150 tickets. It's a bonus. If you're ready, just type exclamation like we're playing a Metal Gear Solid game. <laughs> Snotted. I have endless jingles stuck in my head. Oh, you guys are going to go to bed singing this stuff, guys. My type of hands are ready. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fire Fang, Jetter, TNS, Hataru, Kojo, Hack Gaming, Jetter, Cheese, Dobbs, and Lulu actually spelled it out. I like we're playing a Metal Gear Solid game. Bring! <laughs> All right, Redbeard, let's do this. You guys ready? Is that the right one? I'll be honest, never heard this, don't even know what it is, but apparently some of you are going to know. Hint, hint. Nobody got it. Interesting. I like that. East Side Mario's. Apparently, it's popular in Canada. Got any Canada folks in here? East Side Mario's pizza joint? No idea whatsoever. Wiener Schnitzel. God, we have those here. Should we do a bonus match? Crashdown. No, it's Canadian. It's shit, though. <laughs> it's not a pizza joint, it's a Canadian joint. What's Canada? It's an Italian restaurant. This is the only part I liked. <laughs> Don't know what the hell that was all about. Well, no wonder we didn't get it. Canada isn't even a real country. I didn't even know Canada existed. Poor Canada. Listen, listen, guys. I'd move to Canada in a heartbeat, except for their gun law. I want to shoot rifles, SMGs, LMGs. Yeah. Am I right, Treat on a Foxy? Am I right? I'm proof. I'm Canadian. But I couldn't think of the brand. I want poutine. I'm not going to touch on that. I'm not going to touch on that. Hold on. Uh, let me check something and let's do a bonus one. I gotta answer this question. I've gotta answer this text message just in case it is wifey. It's Spock. Hold on a second. 
Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Your dog is illegal in Canada? Discovery Channel's I Love the Whole World commercial is like the one commercial I love. I'd like to teach the world to see. Hey, how bad is the rain up there? It's supposed to come our way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hold on. It's not too bad. It's loud, though. Spock has rain coming his way. It's loud, though. With thunder. Did Spock finally see your hot tub stream? <laughs> I don't think he did. It rained quite a bit here. Rain? What's rain? All we get is snow. Man, we're getting so much rain right now. It, and it's like, I'm surprised you haven't heard it. Our thunder's been like... Rumble, rumble. Okay. All right, I got to do a bonus, but honestly, I'm out of restaurants. Would you guys just like famous jingles? We got slammed by rain in Central Texas today. Is that headed our way? Without telling people where I'm at, Tree on a Foxy, is that headed our way? I'm in Texas, yes. I thought you were gassy. <laughs> All Americans are liars. This is not even true. Do the Discovery Channel, I Love the Whole World commercial? How does that relate to restaurants? We gotta stay on theme. It's out of context. <laughs> Probably Houston's way. I swear you won't, for, you won't regret it. If you're in North Texas, probably head your way. Got it. You hear Houston is great. Houston has amazing food. All right. Can we just do a jingle? Are you guys okay with a, just doing a jingle? And then I may test your little Jetter cheese commercial. We'll do a bonus jingle and see, uh, see about where we're at. Houston is fun. Tree Down Fox, you ever been to a place called Breakfast Club in, in Houston? I tell everybody about it. And, and it seems like most people have never been. And it's fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. Never heard of it. Oh, God. Chicken and waffles, Kojo. Chicken and waffles, the real way. You know, the fried chicken with the bone in it and the waffles that are this big and crunchy but they're fluffy on the inside with the perfect amount of butter and syrup. Oh, negative to breakfast club? Oh my God. It's too American for me, I'm out. All right, I guess let's just find one more bonus jingle and then let's get the hell out of here, huh? Okay, re remember. It's, everything's off, right? It, it doesn't matter if it's food. It, it's just food related. It doesn't have to be a restaurant, okay? Okay? If you guys are ready for your bonus cue, let me know. Raise your hands. We'll get it going, and then I'm going to give you guys some tickets. And we're going to get out of here. Q. That's that's the perfect sign. Q. Q. Exactly. Hataru Black. Hack Gaming. Lulu. You all ready. Guys, seriously, thank you so much for being here. TNS is ready. Lamajo's ready. Yay. Getting a jump. Sorry to bug you. I just remember you live where it's heavy right now and was concerned about you. Okay. Hey, no worries, man. Be safe. Be safe. Here comes. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. What is that? Definitely not Pizza Hut. Definitely not CC's. 
Pizza rolls? Mm, nope. It's pizza on a bagel. Pizza bites. Hitaru, positive left. Both of you get it. Souls, since you said it, you get yourself. Souls, give yourself 150 tickets too. But give Hitaru and positive left. Because it's definitely pizza on a bagel. It's pizza bites. But it's bagel bites. That guy has some soul. Like, I wouldn't, I think he was raised by a black choir. That was racist, Raven. It absolutely was, folks. It absolutely was racist. Okay, so let me tell you guys. Tomorrow, Spock, I was just telling you that, I was just telling people that you were texting me, and I was telling, telling you to be safe. Be safe, dude. Just glad we're not ending on that Chuck E. Cheese horror for real. We could. We could. Tomorrow, we're going to finish Heavy Rain and start Beyond Two Souls. I apologize for leaving you guys so soon. I'm not going to end on that, Kojo, tonight. Uh, but I will be returning tomorrow. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys being here. Let's show somebody some love. Oh, I know where we're going. Let's just make sure this person is still going to. Excellent. Excellent. This person is streaming Sekiro. Shadows die twice. Until tomorrow, heavy rain continues.